Hello, welcome to Dublin Radio. It's 1905, 15, 12, 2021. I've got some amazing guests on the show this amazing evening. Who do we have on the show on Hi. this amazing evening? Hello, it's Lala here. It's Lyle here. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, we've got the amazing Demira Tweens on the show this evening. I'm so elated. I am excited. I am super duper hyped to have this amazing guest on the show this evening. Trust me, I'm looking forward to this. So, ladies, welcome to the show. No, thank you. Thank you for taking the opportunity uh, as well when offered as well. Again, you know, it's always amazing to have you ladies as well. It's been a while. We've been off there for a bit, but, you know, we thought, you know, we, we need to come back with a bang. We need to come back with amazing, amazing individuals doing great things. And we thought about who? The Demiro Twins. Thank you again for joining us this evening. Thank you for having us once again. Fantastic. Here. Fantastic. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, the Demiro Twins, Dob and I, why are you so excited? What can I say? Oh, I'm always excited when I have amazing guests on the show. So I'll, I'll, I'll go to Lola on this one. You know, I mean, who are the Demirate Twins? If anyone was going to ask you that question, who are they? You know, because a lot of people have probably seen your profile pictures, seen the great things you're doing, which we'll be going into later on in the show. But who are the Demirate Twins? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, the Demirate Twins are Lola and Lyle. They are an identical duo and we are the ones at the helm of the brand let's dress you up we run an image consultancy personal styling and women's ready to wear brand we're just passionate about style and we're passionate about making women look beautiful so that's who we are what we do in a nutshell amazing amazing i love the fact that you love to dress your women, women up you know you love to showcase the beauty of the of the woman of the female i think that's quite amazing but, I mean, what was the inspiration behind the brand uh, Let's Dress You Up? I actually like the name. It's quite unique as well. It's, it's so easy to remember. You can never forget about it. You know what I mean? You know, but what inspired the brand? So, I guess, in terms of the name, it was literally, what do we do? We dress people up, right? So, let's, let, let's say what, the, um, what we do on the tin, right? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> literally. I think the inspiration for the, for, for the brand really was just um, having friends and family and people who we, we looked at and we thought they've got good style games, they look good, they're beautiful, but they could just augment, you know, they could just do that little bit extra to make themselves even more fabulous, even more confident, even more beautiful. And it kind of was an organic thing, you know, it just kind of developed very organically. We would style people for special occasions like weddings and birthdays and um, you know what what have you parties and events and people would ask oh could you style us could you do you think these shoes would look great with this what do you think I should wear and they actually just realised that there was actually a gap in the market there are actually lots of people in our sphere that you know just need that bit of hand holding mm. um, to get themselves to that point where they that they look really kind of communicate who they are amazing amazing personal styling is all about amazing you know, bringing your personality to your look. definitely so yeah, that's yeah kind of where it started amazing i mean i want to go to the point you mentioned organic i think yes and i agree because dominant we here yeah, we've been aware of you know you kind of like what you go over the years and you know come into a, a very amazing amazing unique talent uh because back in the day you know when you have a passion for it your, your, your fashion sense was quite different. I mean, it brings me to the question, I mean, for you, I mean, let, let's bring, let's bring Layo into this now, you know. I mean, like for you, w w what is fashion to you? How would you define fashion um, as a fashion designer? Um, for me, fashion is very much about self-expression. Mm. It's, for, for me personally, and I think probably for a lot of women, um, it's how we express ourselves. It's that, that, you know, that first pass, how we want the world to, how we see ourselves really, and then we express that, you know, through our colors or through our style, through our choice of clothes, our choice of labels sometimes even, mm. um, our choice of values and, and ethics and all that sort of stuff. You, you know, you might see someone who says, I, I only wear clothes from sustainable brands, for Correct. example. Yeah. And that's that person bringing their own personal conviction into the fashion arena so it's very much about self-expression it, it's so much it is. fun and it's an art in itself amazing i love the way you define that self-expression and you're quite right because self-expression has a lot of components you know a lot of factors around that isn't it you know you have the self-confidence you have the self-belief 
and I think a lot of people express that through fashion. You mentioned about someone who's looking at sustainable fashion because they want to contribute, you know, to the global, you know, good of things. You know, I mean, I think that's quite amazing. I mean, you know, your your, your personal styles. I mean, they've evolved into something amazing. You know, you know, I, I've kind of like observed you guys. Is that you guys were like ahead of your time because back in the days we didn't, we didn't understand that. You know, this is what you're trying to portray, but now it's developed into amazing things. But how do you fuse your personal style into what you do now? I mean, Lola, Lola, let me hear from you on that one. Right, so it's, it's interesting that you say that because I think we're at polar opposites in terms of style. Um, wow. We're very different style aesthetic. Amazing. I'm very, very out there. I'm an extrovert, extrovert. I love people. I love color. I think that is where I represent my, my, my personal style the most. I will go for the brightest, biggest colors and patterns. And Naya kind of looks at me and goes, <laughs> "What is that? What are you doing?" Yeah, you really. So I mean, it just goes back to the point of authenticity in everything, mm. even in the way you present yourself. And that's the work of an image consultant and a stylist to really help you to communicate who you are to the world. Exactly. And, you know, they say you have what is it, seven seconds or three seconds to make a great impression. Wow. Someone who's never met you. So wow. you need to lead with really lead with your best foot. Amazing. I'm making notes. I'm making notes right now. You know, I'm making notes and learning from this. This is quite amazing. You know, I mean, you mentioned you quite you're quite opposite. You're quite you're the maybe flamboyant one. You like the colours. You like the bright colours and things like. That. I mean, you know, Laya, wh wh where do you stand on this? You know. Uh, yeah, I, I'm more restrained. I just I like my clean lines. I'm the girl you'll see in navy blue. Like navy blue is my favourite colour. Amazing. <laughs> I like navy blue too. Ooh. It's a very strong color. It's very kind of um, it's cross border. It cuts the uh, you know just I shine in, in in blue anyway. So I'm partial to blue. But I also I, I like um, I like to be seen. So you know there's an expression you you wear the fashion. Don't let the fashion wear you. Don't wow. let the garment wear you. I, uh -huh. I think navy blue allows me to do that. Amazing. Um, you know and also just I guess. The way my brain's wired, I like things to be quite asymmetric, to be quite clean and neat and tidy, and that again just translates into my into my fashion sense. Amazing. Uh, my sister, as she as she alluded to it, she's quite loud and out there, uh -huh. and that translates into her personality. So I, I yeah. think it just brings a fine balance. You know, it brings a fine balance, different perspectives Absolutely. coming together and doing amazing, you know, things. You know, I think it's quite amazing. I mean, but from your point of view, what what makes good fashion? What makes a good fashion designer? Let, let's put it that way. Um, I would say someone who understands their audience, right? So every fashion designer has a particular, you know, um, group or target audience that they design for. Yeah. That's the reason why we've got thousands of potential fashion designers and everyone has their own market. Everyone has their own client. Mm. So I think understanding who your market base is, understanding who your client is, who are the sort of women or, or men, as the case may be, that would want to wear your, 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 your designs? What is their lifestyle like? What are their preferences? Um, is it comfort? Is it, you know, displaying? Whatever yeah, the case may yeah. Be. Um, recognizing who those people are and then designing clothes that would fit and um, help you, them spot to on. Really enhance their lifestyle. Spot on. You know, recognizing what, who those people are. Indiv individuality. Everyone is, has an individual Absolutely. taste. You're actually exploring that taste and expressing the, you know, in fashion with your image and consultancy, which I think is, is, is quite amazing. So I, I want to come back to Lola on this one. You know, mm -hmm. Laya mentioned uh, navy blue. I love navy blue as well. It allows her to express herself. It allows her to do things, you know, to explore deeper meaning around, you know, designing, you know, great fashion, basically. I mean, but for you, Lola, what's that inspiration? that brings out that, you know, your brightness, makes you go bold uh, in the fashion world? Um, I think for me, it's really about wanting to, to stand out. So, um, as I said, authenticity is king, right? In literally in everything you do. Yeah. And um, it's important that you feel comfortable as well. Comfort is another key thing for me. Um, I'm thinking, what what actually for me, what am I going to put on that is going to just reflect my mood? Mm. And that's really where I get my inspiration from. So I love that. I'm, I'm on the opposite side. I like the oranges and the reds. Um, I think I also look great in them. Um, 
I think they're also reflective of my personality and um, you know fire and 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 boldness and all of that. So Amazing. for me, really, it, 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 that's where that's the angle at which I come from. So you oh. see me always trying to throw people in color. Listen, I'm I'm already a student this evening. I'm learning so much, you know, about bringing that individuality out. Do you know what I mean? Expressing yourself. Uh, with fashion as well. I mean, we, we, we talk about fashion. Fashion is something that moves quite quickly. You know, it's something that you have to stay up to date. I'm going to come back to that. But, you know, talking about that, you know, tenacity, that work ethic, you know, I mean, what are the work ethics you believe in, you know, while working, you know, within the fashion industry? I can, I, okay, Laya, Laya, you can take this one. Yeah, I think it's, it's a number of things. First of all, I think um, for us as a brand, um, we are a sustainable brand. Um, we're also a brand that believes in empowering people. Um, we're a brand who believes in empowering women especially. And one of the things we can boast of is that our production line, so right from design straight through to um, production, um, is, is pretty much predominantly at least 90 90 five percent and all female production Amazing. um unit so for us what we do is we very much look at the things that we want to do the things we're passionate about women at female empowerment building women in business all those sorts of things and we translate it into into our ethic into into our practices into our production into all the little into all the little um i guess aspects of our business um, fairness and just um, being authentic and um, being putting, giving the customer the best. So excellent customer service. Amazing, amazing. Um, those are the things that really matter to us. And I, I couldn't agree with you more. Integrity, I guess, in business is really important to us. And those are the kind of things we try to push in our own business, in our own little way. Amazing. I mean, I love the fact you mentioned customer service there because, you know, that is lacking within a lot of businesses, especially, you know, within the, you know, Afro-Caribbean community. I don't like to use the word B-A-M-E. I don't like that. I'd rather say the African community anyway because we, I think we're all African. Anyway, we're going to take a short break now, but I'll be back on the other side and find out more about this amazing, amazing, wonderful, uh, great ladies I have on the show this evening. Trust me, don't miss the other side. Stay locked on, stay locked on. It's your host, Dobbin 9, on Dobbin R Radio. Hello, welcome back to Dobbin R Radio. It's 1919, 15, 12, 2021. Yes, we have the amazing demo of tweens, the fashion, the amazing fashion designers and image consultants as well, and stylists. Trust me, uh, I'm, already, uh, I'm already a student this evening. I'm already learning a lot from them as well. I hope you are at home as well. If you want to be part of the show, if you don't want to be shy, if you want to have a conversation, ask a question, number is 074-956-368-9. You can call us on WhatsApp or send a, uh, a, send a WhatsApp text as well. That's 074-956-368-9. If you're calling from out the UK, it's plus 4474 Nine five six three six eight double nine. Welcome back, ladies. Hope you're having a great time on the show. We are yeah, amazing time. Fantastic. I'm having an amazing time as well. I think I'm bringing my inner fashion is coming out shortly as well because you're giving me great lessons on today's uh, uh, show. But anyway, I've always wanted to ask this question because I, I, I see your designs. You know, you do amazing designs. Um, it's on your Instagram, you're on your website, I believe, as well. I mean, what, what kind of fabric uh, do you use uh, for your designs? So, um, I'll take that one um, as creative director. So we're very intentional about the fabrics that we wanted to use. And, and, you know, coming from an African background, specifically Nigerian heritage, we wanted to be able to celebrate that Amazing. in our production process and in our designs. And for that to reflect a bit about the culture so and, and, and the culture that we're proud of. So we use um, a number of um, fabrics, but um, our prints are always um, a tie and dye fabric. It's known as Adire fabric in, in Nigeria, and it's made mostly predominantly by women in the southern part of Nigeria, um, uh, specifically Ogun State, Oshun State, for those who... Who, who know where these places are amazing and you know it's just amazing because you you, you the, the ladies are very creative um like i said it's sustainable and that you know it's all made by hand so we really have we you know we've got a strap line which we push and get a lot which is made lovingly um by women of africa for women of the world and and, and that will translate into 
all our designs and when we're not working with Adirae Fabric we're working with wearable art which um, again is something that we've pushed a lot and something we've explored as a brand and again all those designs are hand painted and made um, with love by women of Africa for women of the world. Amazing I love the fact you know you have Africa at the center of what you're doing as well I think it's quite amazing it's a way to promote the motherland in that positive nature bring that investment back into the continent i think that's an amazing way you know to to do that as well and i think that's that's quite wonderful as well we're going to be talking about you know what what's what, what kind of offers you have on at the moment and how, how people can get on uh, you know your website or your uh, instagram page to order this amazing designs you you're creating with african fashion and i think it's quite amazing but most importantly you know lola i want to bring you on this one you know how do you stay up up to date with you know trends in the fashion industry as you know you know it's it's constantly changing yeah it is um and that's why i think for us we decided to very very quickly at the outset decided that what we were going to do was make pieces that were going to really cut across trends, um, pieces that women will want to wear and are able to wear over and over again. So versatility is right at the center of our designs. Um, and what we mean by that is for each garment you buy from us, there will be a number of ways that you can repurpose it so that you can use it within your existing or new wardrobe as you get new pieces so wow. we haven't really been encumbered encumbered so much with issues around because we're not making fast fashion right we're making Amazing. quality pieces yeah um, quite sophisticated pieces that women can wear in different seasons and, and like i say style up and style down and, and we, we actually part of what we do in our brand is we don't just sell you the clothing we actually model it and we show you the different ways you can enjoy your garment and wear it, you know, Amazing. To your your personal taste. So we've been quite lucky, but of course you take your inspiration from the streets of Instagram are a mm. great place to, to Of course, of course. On, I mean um, magazine subscriptions. Yeah. <laughs> amazing i mean you know keeping up with the trend i think that's quite amazing but i mean i'm gonna ask this question because you describe it so well but is it only women's wear you do at the moment Mm, at the moment yes come on come on you gotta have all this amazing talent and not involve the african men we want you know this amazing designs you you talk about you know when you are we looking that is that going to be a possibility in the future Yes, that is something on the on the roadmap for 2022. Um, I think we thought we would start from, you know, it's always a good a good idea to start from your comfort zone, start from what you know about. Yeah. Um, and integrity is really important. Right? Yeah. So create that market base, let people know you understand your brand and, and the value that it can bring to them and then kind of build on top of that incrementally. So yes, men's wear, we will be doing something for the men in 2022. Amazing. We're mega excited about it. Watch this space. I am super yeah. excited as well. You have to let Double Nine Radio know when they're available so it can, you know, patronize you because it's going to be amazing, I'm sure. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. So for the ladies now, how can the ladies get on to, you know, check out your designs? What, you know, what's your Instagram? What's your website? How can they get their hands on them? on instagram um our instagram handle is at let's dress you up that's one word all spelled out and um, that's the let's without the ad, uh, apostrophe so at let's dress you up we've also got a website which is www.letsdressyouup.co.uk so you can check out our, our designs on there um you can send us an, a dm via instagram um, yeah, just reach out to us. Like I say, we're really active on Instagram and we've got a web store as well. We've got a contact us form there. You can uh, find out about our designs and also find out about our services via our website. Fantastic. And they're having a sale at the moment as well. It's Christmas. You can get something for someone on there. They're very affordable. The quality is great. I have seen them. They're amazing. It's just that I'm quite upset with them not doing menswear because I will have been wearing one this Christmas. But what can I say? What can I say? Okay, I mean, Lyle, let me ask you. I'm going to ask Lola as well. But, I mean, what's your favorite part of, of, about being a fashion designer? Okay, so I'll go first. My, my favorite part is creation, the, the actual creative process, you know, from your fabric selection to your sampling, 
to your designs, you know, your sketches, and just conceptualizing things in your mind first. And then the beauty of it is you spend all these weeks or months or whatever sourcing the right fabric, looking for the right vendors, looking for the right design, thinking about the woman's body and, and how they might wear it. And then eventually, you know, like a baby, this conceived idea becomes a reality. Wow. And you see it in detail. So you see I know it you the know, on your website and your web store. And it is just absolutely amazing. It's it is. Really Inspiring and it's, it's you know it just keeps it makes me happy personally. I know I can I know that feeling. Okay, let let let, let Lola come in on this one then. I think I'm probably more on on the customer service side, so I love people. So that interaction, the opportunity to meet people, the opportunity to put a smile on someone's face, because you know there is something very um, uh, from a psychological perspective really great about retail and shopping and. And, and a purpose that it can serve to brighten up your day. And every time we sell something or, you know, someone gets a, piece, a little piece of let's dress you up in their, in their wardrobe and then they send a photo or they send a, it's just of them wearing it and they just look fabulous. It just brightens up my day. It's, Amazing. It's very fulfilling for me. So, you know, that what, for me, that's really what makes me tick, knowing that I'm, we're doing something to help a woman feel beautiful look beautiful amazing amazing that's wonderful giving back to people as well through your talent i think that's quite amazing i mean so the the next five years from now yes a bit of covid uh, is out there but you know it shouldn't stop our creative side what is you know the next five years like for let's dress you up i mean because i love the brand what is the next five years i mean like i want to go first on this one I hope we haven't lost her there. I hope we haven't lost her. Oh. Lola, you can come in if you can hear us. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. We might have lost her. Her apologies. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of exciting things coming up. As we already said, you know, we're going to be exploring menswear. We've had a lot of demand and a lot of inquiries about that. So that's something that's firmly on the roadmap for 2022. And then I think that um, further from that, we would really like to expand into other areas. So we currently serve clients in the UK, US, and Nigeria, but we would really like to get our Kenya. You know, we'd like to get our tentacles out into um, other other parts of Amazing. the world, particularly you know proliferate Africa and all the different, and also take some more inspiration from other parts um, of, of the continent as well. Um, so that we can just continue to make beautiful, you know, beautiful clothes and beautiful designs for, for, that will make both men and women feel fantastic. Because Amazing. Because that's the goal, right? Amazing. Yes, it is. It is. I can't wait for that as well. I mean, you, you know, also, I mean, you, you've been doing this for a while, you know, and you're, you're making inroads, you're doing great designs. But for any of your upcoming designers listening to you this evening, what will be your advice to them? trait that you need to have if you want to operate and be successful in the fashion industry um yeah you've got to keep at it right it's not all glamour i know what people see at the end of the process yeah um is 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 the final product and it it looks great and and they get to enjoy it but i think for anyone thinking of this i think being tenacious is key and the other thing is just do it right you don't have to have all the perfect elements, um, you know, everything lined up, all the money in the, in the bank. You yeah. just need to step out in faith. You need to just believe in yourself, believe in the dream, and then go for it. Amazing, amazing. You couldn't have said it any better uh, as well. I mean, that's just great, great advice there. Keep consistency is very key. And believe in yourself as well. Okay, I hope we have Lyo back. Do we have Lyo back? Yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. Yes, Glad to have you back. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm going to ask this now. I always ask most of my guests this question. Uh, we've already done a bit of research as well uh, on this. Part. So because we have Lyle back, you know, Lyle, I want to ask you, what is, tell us a fun fact that no one knows. We, uh, we're going to investigate this. You can't make anything up. We're going to know this one. So tell us a fun fact that is just exclusively uh, live on Domino Radio. <laughs> I am absolutely petrified of spiders. Oh. I don't know if that's a fun fact or not, but yeah, I'm the person who will see a spider and run around the house screaming and, you know, wanting someone to come and 
take it out, get rid of it, or possibly squash it. So yeah, summer is usually very traumatic for me. Okay, <laughs> okay, now we know. Okay, Lola, what's your fun fact for us this evening? Exclusively live on Domino Radio. <laughs> Probably that I'm a foodie. <laughs> oh, wow. I love food. I love food. Um, yeah, I love food. I, I enjoy food very much, and I love to try different different things. So, yeah. Um, for me, yeah, anytime you invite me now for dinner, I'm up for it. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Ladies, it's been amazing to have you on the show this evening. I've had such a fantastic time. You've almost made me uh, one of your students to learn from you because the points you've been giving me this evening around the fashion designer, around your brand, and the advice you gave as well, I think is quite amazing. Uh, you couldn't have said it any better. But before we go, before we let you go, what do you have to say to your listeners this evening? Because I'm sure they're so intrigued to know more about what the brand brings and what uh, you know they should expect as well. But what do you want to say to your listeners this evening? I'll let Laya go first on this one. For me, I just want to say, you know, be your authentic self, celebrate your own beautiful, stay true to who you are, um, self-expression, express yourself through your fashion. Every time you, you step out of the door, it's an opportunity to make a statement about yourself and, you know, make sure that that statement is what you, you would like it to be. And, and yeah, just stay fabulous. And if you need any hands, then um, Let's Dress You Up is always on hand to assist you. Um, with any questions or help you to just yeah take your fashion style up a notch. Fantastic, ladies. I mean, L- Lola, do you want to come on 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 the your one? I want to hear from you as well. Yeah, I really just want to say thank you to everyone that's tuned in to listen to us. Um, I wish you all a fabulous Christmas. Um, you know, and um, yeah, live live for now. Live your best life. Uh, be happy. Um, and live in the moment. And, and like Laya said, um, please feel free to visit our Instagram page at Let's Dress You Up, one word, or drop us an email at info at Let's Dress You Up dot com. And um, yeah, uh, take, a, take a look at our designs and let's connect because, yeah, I love to meet people. So yeah, just drop us a DM and let's get to know each other. Fantastic. Uh, get them to dress you up. Let's dress you up. Make you fabulous for Christmas and the year to come as well. Ladies, it's been amazing to have you on the show. The Demerol Twins as well have entertained us tonight, given us a real insight into the world of fashion as well. Make sure you check them out. It's let, let's dress you up on Instagram as well. Drop them in line, and I'm sure you never regret it. Ladies, it's been wonderful to have you this evening. Have an amazing, amazing Christmas. And I'm sure we'll be talking uh, quite soon. Thank you for having us. It's been fab. Merry Christmas, everyone, and to all your listeners as well.